But one thing that I am for is I will say hello to everybody. I will say hello to everybody, whether you got bad energy, stuck up looking face, restless, blessed face. I don't care what it is. I'm going to say hello to you because you might just have a bad day. Anybody here had a bad day and just like, yes. See, I'm not having a bad day. Technology over here, Doug. I don't know what the heck's happening over here. Is it not working? What's it doing? Start slide. Let's. I don't know what that is either. Guess what? My next event, I will hire, I will hire someone to dad come do this. Is that, is that working? No. Reggie, you know how to do this? <laughs> Pre- I don't know what I'm doing over here. Anyways, while they're figuring that out, uh, um, what I was saying is... Um, There's a lot of organizations in the city, right? Uh, Whether it be such and such commerce, such and such, this skin color commerce, or any of these organizations. I've gone into these rooms that I've never felt like they were accomplishing anything. And this is no knock to the city. There's no knock to any of those events or organizations. But I see them as photo ops. Two years ago, when I started, when when I got the vision of doing this, I went to an event called Eric Thomas. Anybody here ever heard of E.T., the hip-hop preacher? I went to an event, my buddy Reggie and I, he says, hey, listen, um, I I love E.T. He loves E.T., guess what? I want to treat my teammates to go to events. I started out by planting a seed. He said, hey, listen, I want to go to this event. Tickets were like $350 to go to this event. I said, bet, our business is doing well, bought tickets right then and there. Didn't even think twice about it, right? I go to the events. And I, I couldn't get no further in the back of the room. You think you spend $350, you're going to be front seat, right? No, no, no. You couldn't get no further in the back. But I, they had this song playing, you know, that song all the way turned up. They just had this crowd vibing and moving. And I got the best uh, uh, rhythm, rhythm, so don't judge me on that aspect, right? But I, I turned to the left, and I heard this message that says, get in the room. Get in the room. I didn't hear it from the stage. I didn't hear it from any of this stuff. I just heard it in my head. I said, all right, I'm going to come back to Jacksonville. And I'm going to build a room of like-minded individuals, like-minded entrepreneurs. And two years ago, I said, I'm just going to call all my friends up that are business owners. And let's see, is that going to work? Either way, can someone just stand back there and press, press click? Um, so I went to this event, come back, and I said, I'm, I'm going to start hosting networking events. And I would host it at my financial services company's office. And people would walk into the office, and they would see the name of the company, and they said, eh, I don't, because some people think they prejudge my company, and I'll say, I'm going to leave. I said, that's one person that's not meant for me. If you're going to judge me based off of what you think my company does, you're not part of my circle. And I would invite them, and I would call, and I would leave voicemails, and I would text people, and I would have people register and say that I'm going to show up. And guess what? Most of them didn't show, but I accounted for that. My expectation is I invite 50, 25 will show up. That's the, that's the uh, power of saying hello to everybody. You, if you have a big enough contact list of a bunch of people in your business, doesn't matter who you invite. The right people will show up. Would you agree on that? Yes. So I always like to say you're one hello away. You're one hello away from meeting your spouse. I was accidentally going to say your next spouse. <laughs> that just didn't want to put that out there, right? Uh, See, you're one hello away from meeting your next business partner. Business partners are great. I have a lot of business partners, but we might not make any financial decisions together just yet. See, Sonia and I are not in business financially just yet. We will be, though. It's just the right opportunities that got to come together. See, you're one hello away from meeting your next big client. Think of it like this. If you could get paid $10,000 from one client in 30 days, are you ready for that? mentally prepared, hey, I'd be excited to get a $10,000 check, right? You need to level the expectations of what you're looking for right. when you come to these events, right? See, you're, you're one hello away from meeting your next faithful employee, your next faithful person. Because you could recruit, or you could recruit or hire someone just for a paycheck. Now, I'm looking for someone, hey, you're, you're here for the tribe, you're here to ride with us, let's go build this thing together, right? See, Chris, you're one hello away from your next referral. Everyone in this room is a referral partner for me. I'm one for you. 
Why? Because I want to see you succeed. Does that mean you're going to buy from me? No. Do I care if you buy from me? No. Because I don't need your money. I don't need your business. I want the relationship because that turns into more. See, you're one hello away from changing the direction of your life. Think about it if you met Alfreda and she says, yo, I got this contract such and such and such and such. And then all of a sudden now you're making $10,000 a month from one contract. I've got stories of getting in the room with individuals like this. I always say get in the room. If you guys see on here on the right side, you'll see tons of successful entrepreneurs. If you guys see up here Ed Milet, my coach over there introduced me to Ed Milet a couple of months ago at a UFC fight. Over here is Patrick Bet David, met him at a UFC fight. Damon John, met him at a book signing. Neo, met him because I daggum was destined to meet Neo, if you guys know me, right? <laughs> Earn your leisure at an event. Eric Thomas, at an event. You can't get wealthy sitting at home on Zoom. Get in the room with the right people, though. See, you're one introduction away from getting in the room to have a what type of leap? Quantum leap. Because you don't want to just do adding, uh, jumping by adding. We want multiplication in here, right? right? See, making a right introduction and bringing value to those in the room can lead to bigger opportunities. You already met Sonia. You heard from Chance. You haven't even met Alfreda yet. You haven't even talked to Jessica Martinez yet. You're one introduction away. But it's what you do with that contact and what changes. See, be intentional when you get in the room with like-minded individuals. I guarantee each of us, if you personally met me, we met randomly. <laughs> Focus on asking questions that serve the person you're talking to and be genuine. I go to too many networking events where it's a real estate agent, it's an insurance agent. Hey, here's my card. You looking to buy or sell? Hey, you looking to want some insurance? Good luck. Get out of here with that because they're looking at you as a transaction. See, keep conversations short and listen more than you talk. I know this is elementary, but guess what? We're going to teach you the basics going into 2024. Your life's going to change. See, ask questions such as, what's your next project you're working on and how can I help you? I'll share a story with you. You guys see this guy up here, Neo? The reason I'm in the financial services field is at 15 years old, I started writing R&B songs. My first love, I'm writing, writing some songs for her. I'm like, okay, we're going to get some nookie. I ain't at that point yet, but uh, uh, we're going to work our way there, right? And the mentality was, I heard the song so sick. Dived in the, deep in the Neo story, wrote the song in six minutes. I said, you could make money from writing this? I'm in love. I can write some songs. And I followed that dream all the way to 20. And I needed to make some extra money for studio time. This is not this 2010 when studio time is daggum expensive. I meet a young guy that works at the hotel with me. He says, hey, do you keep your options open for making more money? He introduced me to one of my mentors, Asley. I made enough money to where I was able to quit my job after three years. I didn't pursue music like I was because I found an industry that I was excited about, I was passionate about. But guess what? I made enough money that I said, the moment Neo comes anywhere in the, in the, in the circumference of, of, of Jacksonville, I'm going. I saw Atlanta, Tampa, and then boom, right there, Jacksonville. My kitchen table. My team's at my house. Their tickets on sale. My babe, tickets are $800. Bet, let's just buy it. Let's buy it. Because I got to get there. I got, I got the closest ticket I could, I could get. But what I realized is it wasn't the meet and greet. I'm like, they didn't, they didn't offer it. And then I found meet and greet tickets for sale. I'm like, dang it, man. I wish I could just sell my tickets and buy those. Didn't happen. But what was the one thing I kept telling everyone was going to happen, guys? Yeah. Within five minutes of walking in the room, I walk into the Everbank, or no, the, the, you know, the little Daily Dash spot. I said, hey, where do the VIP people go? And they said, are you here for the meet and greet? I'm like, duh. <laughs> guys like, hey, let me see your stuff. I had already Photoshopped fake tickets, by the way, just... just. <laughs> I'm saved, righteous, ratchet, depending on what day it is. <laughs> I was destined. I was focused. <laughs> I was committed. But I did not have to do it. The guy looked at my stuff. I had favor over me that day. And within five minutes, we're walking in back to Neo. And I'm talking to my girl, Mike. I'm not going to fanboy. I'm not going to fanboy. <laughs> but anyways, I'm telling you about the dream board, all that stuff. 
And the last thing I asked him was, what can I help you with? He says, what do you do? Financial services. He says, ah, I might need you. His bodyguard overhears me, though. His bodyguard says, hey, I do this, this, and this. Can you help me out with that? I'm like, yeah. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> and if you watch this video, I did at the time. Just, just. But guess what? I was committed. I got his number. He says, listen, call me after the show. Bring you back to hang out with Neo, and we'll go from there. And this is where I got to hang out with Neo. I'm submitting, actually, actually working on submitting some of my music to him now, which is a big deal. But, but let me just share something with you. Jessica, you were on the call with me. What did his security guard tell me? Just get me in the room and I'm going to work it. What does that mean? Just get in the room. All right, guys. I share that with you because financially and economically, we're in contraction mode. That doesn't mean you have to be in contraction mode. You have to burst out of that bull crap, turn off the news like he said, control what happens here, and then get in alignment with people that are going in the same direction as you. I, call, I say call build a God economy. I can't control what happens on, on Main Street. I can happen what happens on my streets. Right. I can't what happens what, what controls what happens in the White House. I control what happens in my house. Yeah. I don't care what any president is doing, whether they, whether they can talk or they're saying some dumb ass stuff. Right. I care about, wait, what am I telling myself? What am I telling the people around me, right? Mm. See, build an economy around you of like-minded people that they can pour into each other financially and relationships. You have to spend money among the people you're with. The only rated R word you need to focus on is relationships, not recession. Yes. See, how I, 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 this is the word is contact and contract. The only missing letter is R, right? The R stands for relationship. You want more contracts, build more contacts. Find people who are in alignment with your visions and find ways to share their stories to impact others. You need to be the biggest mouthpiece for your friend's businesses. If, the, if you're not talking about your friend's businesses, what are you doing? Come on. See, build loyalty with, pe with a circle of people who build each other. Collaboration over what? You guys heard this quote over here? Jessica Vasquez, I, I've gotten that from her, and I had to give her credit. Because by Les Brown says I gave you credit three times, then that's mine. <laughs> no, that's the first time you heard it. <laughs> And guys, listen, as, as I am I'm going to wrap up my portion here, I want to share something with you. Each person in this room all started off as a relationship. Whether it be Chance and I, and I'm going down to Atlanta, uh, Orlando to hang out with him, whether it be Renard and I meeting at a networking event when he and I were both struggling in our businesses, whether it's Coach Chris Patterson and I met in a barber shop during COVID, you could just tell someone's successful when they're around, right? Coach Chris Patterson is that guy. Uh, Sonia, again, she and I met. Asley, this is, you guys, he ain't had no hair. Don't let him lie to you. He ain't had no hair. <laughs> don't let him lie to you. <laughs> and then Jessica. I've got one more point I want to leave with you guys. Is you, the importance of, can, oh, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Because this, the, this is the part right here. You guys have got to get this. If someone could just press this button right there for me. Can someone handle that for me? Reggie, can you handle that for me? I want to talk to you guys while we're bringing this up. The importance of planting seeds and letting them grow. You want to meet someone today and them to become your client tomorrow. Does that happen? No. Yes, it does, with the expectation of it. But not everyone's going to happen right away. I want to share a story with you that's very, that's very important on follow-up. You can just move this piece right here. The piece of follow-up is I met Chance randomly inside of a, 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 we met each other in Orlando by random. He took me to an Eric Thomas event is where I met Eric Thomas. Coach Chris Patterson is the one that introduced me to Ed Milet. Do you understand that these guys are big, right? Get in the room with people who have access to other people. That one guy is going to get me back in the room with Neo some more. We're going to get back into the <laughs> studio, right? Can you go back to that? Bro, you're messing up the slide, bro. Come on. <laughs> Just here, back out of here. Here, watch out. 
just press the next thing. Just move that out of the way. That's what I was trying to do. Anyways, just, 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 let's just, I'll give you the, 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 the bullet points of this. This right here is a message of someone I was, I was planting a seed with. Can you just enlarge this? Yeah, I was gonna say just, just maximize this, Reggie. And we'll, we'll make sure that this thing is fixed next time. Can you guys see the date on this? No. It's October tw 27, 2012. I'm going to go back 11 years of follow-up. I met this person. She says, hey, it was great meeting you, running into you. I'm interested in what you mentioned to me at Panera. The next conversation, I said, awesome, I'll call you tomorrow. May 14th of 2013. Never got with the person. Hey, how are you? Hey, I called September, September 13. Hey, I called you a few times. Give me a call when you get the chance. She finally gets back to me on, on October 29th. <laughs> October 29th, 2013. Hey, how are you? And guess what? Then they hit me up with a bunch of stuff asking for a ride. And that ever happened to you? You reach out to somebody, and they don't get back to you right away, and then they call you asking for something? How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Go on to the next slide. This one right here. This next slide. I said, send me the address. I'll be there in 15 minutes. I take the person, take them to work. Now, that was October, November 7th. You're welcome. I'm here for you. November 2017. I get carjacked on my way to jury duty, and I lean on God at this very tough time in my, in my life. But I said, hey, listen, I'm going to start. Uh, God gave me the message, stand still. I lost everything financially. I lost everything. You guys remember this? I did not get rocked. Internally, I was like, fudge. What the hell is going to happen here? But we just kept focused. I reached out to this person, November 25th of 13. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. She says, what are you up to? I said, I have a few appointments. What about you? Then March of 2014, she wants to, uh, I have to send her another message. December 14, 2014, send her my number. April 28th of 2015. And you guys see all this? What happens on Facebook when you see this? They ain't responding. Is this me talking to somebody in the, in the inbox? Are they just, they're just not reading my messages? Go to the next slide. That was Jade. <laughs> that was my partner now. Wow. Be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no. I share that with you because follow-up's important. <laughs> And um, as, as I'm wrapping up my portion, guys, I want you guys, don't, don't, don't lose this, this the seriousness here. You guys are seeing, I started from 20 years old, face full of acne, couldn't look you in your eye. 13 years later, this is still a journey. A year from now, we will have a bigger conference than this. Will you be there? Will you be the same person you are? Will you have people there with you? But how big is your bankroll going to be? How big is your contact list going to be? Because leaving here taking notes means nothing unless you do something with it. That's right. We're not here just to uh, motivate rah-rah. We're here to equip you, educate you. And the person that changed my life was a year and a half ago. You guys saw uh, the, the, the photo of Chris Patterson and I. He and I met inside of a, a barbershop. He was getting his hair cut up. And he and I met. And we add each other on social media. He, he had some, some people that I'm like, you know so-and-so? That's cool. I want, I want to know so-and-so. And, but we just followed each other. Never asked him for a thank. Never asked him for a thank. Because I just wanted to see if we could grow something organically. And what happened was I met him, met up uh, on a Zoom meeting uh, June or May of 2000, 2022. And he changed my life. And I want you guys, we're, we're, he's going to be our keynote speaker, one of the most dynamic speakers you'll ever meet. Shares the same stages with, with the, the, the Ed Milets, the Grant Cardones. You guys, you guys see this guy on YouTube? You see him all over social media? He's done incredible, built multiple businesses, successful businesses. He's going to be our next speaker. As I fix tech, technology, let's take a five-minute break. Give yourself some, some, some time to, to do what you got to go do. But let's come back here in five minutes, and we're going to be giving up to our coach, Chris Patterson, guys, okay? Yeah.